Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Roger. Hello there. So this is update number three. I have something that I want to read to you folks. I received this last night from a friend of mine named Brad. Uh, he's, I, I respect Brad and his wife with every fiber of my existence and I don't want you to think that I have a problem with what he wrote, but he brings up a good point and, he, and it's a good reminder of something that I need to tell you. Here it goes. Don, does reporting on these violent events in Ecuador a good thing to demonstrate your willingness to cover the good and the bad about Ecuador? Question mark. Is your reporting about honesty on your channel? Question mark. Or do you feel you are simply compelled to report on the violence in Ecuador? This is the violent behavior of a certain group of people in specific areas not directly associated within Monta. These kind of things go on here in the USA every day. Just the other day, there was a sniper that killed two policemen. I'm not 100% certain whether this is good analogy. If Chicago, well known to be a very dangerous place with heavy gang violence around drug trafficking, I suspect killing each other and innocent bystanders, would a TV reporter based in Dallas, Texas warn people not to go to Chicago for that matter? Give people the impression that they should be concerned. Cautions about traveling to the state of Illinois? And he put three question marks. Done. Your video on this criminal activity in Ecuador feels very scary. I'm concerned now about going, moving to Ecuador. And while they are rightful concerns, I would ask you to balance the fear that is associated with this violence by reminding people that overall, the vast majority of Ecuadorians are kind, loving, peaceful people. I know I've said that before. I know I've said that before, Brad. You're not listening to my videos. Because I've mentioned that lots of times. I know you're a straight shooter and tell it like it is, but I have to ask you, why are you still living in Ecuador and why would any American want to go to or stay in Ecuador if it's so bad? Wondering about your thoughts. Well, here's my thoughts. Both updates that I did in the last two days, number one and number two, received a total of, I just checked it this morning, seven, eight, nine, let's see, 10, two, three, four, 17, two, three, four. Received 4,400, no, 4,740 views. And between the two videos, I got, sorry, I should have done this math before I started, 110 comments. And on both of these updates, I only got one dislike on each one. Somebody's slipping on the job because I normally get two dislikes right away. But out of 4,740 views of these two comments, I got 110 comments, and I've read every single one of them. And I have yet to see a single one of them that expresses fear about coming here. Uh, well, I take it back. There have been a couple comments where people said, oh, yep, okay, done, not going to Ecuador. You know, you sold me. <laughs> like, that's my objective here, folks. That's not my objective. I'm not here to scare you or to spread fear. If you feel like I'm doing that, disengage yourself from this channel and try out some of the other YouTubers, YouTube channels that talk about Ecuador. If you look around enough, I'm sure you'll find one that'll tell you exactly what you want to hear. I, I don't know that I tell you what you want to hear. I tell you what it's like for me and what how I've done it. And then when there's some event that takes place, like the Paro, which by the way, the Paro was worse than this. And the Paro happens almost every year. The Paro was... You know, the, the, the power was so bad that they're at one of the roadblocks, the indigenous people wouldn't even let an ambulance come through to pick up one of their own people, and then the guy died. So, you know, I'm just reporting what I'm getting from the news sources, which, by the way, I provide all the sources for all this information I'm giving you, which is where I'm getting all this. It's all in the description. And I even added a couple more. I had one this morning from El Universal. 
There's some pretty interesting reading. If you want to know about what's going on with the uh, violence, read L Universal newspaper. I'll put the link in the description. Okay? But I'm not doing this to try to scare you from coming to Ecuador. Come on down. It's safe here. I mean, there's only 18 million people here, folks. The United States is far worse. I'm scared to death to go to the United States for fear of going to a grocery store and getting my head blown off by some deranged maniac teenager that saw a video game that thought it was cool. I don't really have an update for you today, to tell you the truth, other than to try to get the message across to you that I'm not doing this to scare anybody. If this is going to stop you, if this little bit of news that I'm giving you is going to stop you from coming here, don't come here. Okay? You don't need to be here. You need to go back to your home and dig a hole in the ground and stick your head in it and bury it. There was a shooting here in Monta last night, but was it related to this? I don't think so. Who knows? I haven't heard that it was. This week is Fiesta Week here, and it's been one big party since the start of it, and will continue. I'm in a rather grumpy mood today because I was up until 1.30 this morning listening to music that I didn't want to hear at, at about a 95 decibel range from a concert going on down the beach, about a half a mile down the beach. Heard it like they were sitting here on my balcony. <laughs> Welcome to Ecuador. But, you know, this violence, this will be, this too will pass, folks. I, I want you to, to know this news because I want you to be informed about what's going on here. And if I say, stay away from Waikil, that's not coming from me. That's coming from the U.S. Department of State, who's getting their information from their counterparts here in Ecuador. And there are numerous sources that I've put in the description that explain where all this news is coming from. I think the president is doing the right thing by taking these gangsters out of these prisons and spreading them out. He's spreading, he's sending them off to different areas. And, of course, there's been some violence in those areas. Again, uh, this will pass. Don't cancel your plans to come here. But if you're coming here soon, like within the next few days, if you're coming into Waikil, be aware. Please be aware and listen to what people tell you. I, 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 if you're flying into Quito or to Cuenca this weekend, maybe even next week, I don't know that, that I would take a bus to get to Monta. I would take a private driver. Cost you 100 bucks, $120, or something like that. There's plenty of guys around that will be happy to load you and your luggage up and get you here safely. That's all, that's all I'm doing. I'm not trying to scare you, for crying out loud. And Brad, I know you mean well. I, I love you, brother, and I, I know that you mean well. And don't, don't have a second thought about coming here. You better come here because you're my friend. And I'll miss you. But and as far as, you know, if it's so bad, why am I still here? I'm here, I have more reasons than fear of violence, you know, to stay here. I have a lot of reasons. I have a lot of medical work I'm having done, still have my dental work to do, you know. I'm, I'm going to buy a car and I'm planting my roots here for at least a couple more years. And then there's nothing to say that I won't go somewhere else. But that's a whole other video. You know, other YouTubers go other places too. So, why can't I? But, for now, I'm here. Come hell or high water. That's all I had to say. Just, uh, I don't have any uh, alarming updates for you. It's still pretty much the same. I think Lasso's doing a good job of controlling this. Um, they may ask for some help from the U.S., from DEA. And if they do help, uh, I, I, hope, I hope they do. I, you know, just for everybody's sake. So, that's it. I will talk to you on the next one. I'll try to do a regular video uh, in the next few days uh, as soon as I get more comfortable with, that, with being out on my feet. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when I'm 
posting a new video, just ring that bell, okay? There it is right there. Okay? If you don't like the video, give a thumbs down and have a nice day, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.